Statistics really matter, and they matter because they are a public asset. They inform the choices made by people in all sorts of ways, choices they make in their personal lives about the hospitals that they use or the schools that they choose, all the way through to big decisions made by businesses about where to locate, the future of the economy, and so on. We start from this notion of statistics being a public asset, and then we say, well, what is it that commands confidence? To be confident in somebody or someone or an organisation, you need to understand their context. In any situation, it's not just the thing itself, but it's who's saying it and your sense of their motives. And we call that trustworthiness. And in our code, that's our starting point, uh, it's our first pillar of trustworthiness, and we create around it a set of commitments that organisations can make, they can make publicly, to demonstrate that they're worthy of trust. Well, it's clearly not enough for any human being to have confidence in another one for you simply to believe that they're worthy of trust. You need to kind of be able to verify the specific statements that they're making, and that's really all about quality. In the context of statistics, it's what are the numbers? Where are they from? What are the data sources? How have they been collected? Uh, what are the risks, the biases that might sit underneath those numbers? Let's be clear about those. What are the methods that are used to take those numbers, distill them, model them, uh, profile them? And then finally, what are the kind of strengths and limitations of the resulting output? What can it tell you and what can't it tell you? All of those things we wrap up as quality. Failing to do those things, failing to live up to this set of requirements in this pillar, runs a really significant risk that statistics are misleading, that the numbers that are produced tell people things which are not faithful representations of the world that they're trying to capture. And that's really important for us that the code supports statistics that are meaningful and are not materially misleading. This quality pillar is the sort of central pillar of, of the statistics following on from trustworthiness. So we've got trustworthiness, the organisation's commitments to being honest and truthful and reliable. We've got quality, which is about the data themselves, uh, where they're from, how they're used, what they mean. But those two on their own are not enough for people to have confidence in the statistics. Because the most important thing of all in some ways is that the statistics are valuable, that they have value. And what do we mean by that? Well, it, it's not much good having a trustworthy organisation producing quality statistics on a subject that nobody's really interested in, when the questions they really want to answer are something else altogether. That wouldn't be valuable. It would be kind of worthy, I suppose, but it's not kind of being this role of the lifeblood of dem democratic debate that we think is so important. So under the value pillar, which is in a way the newest part of this code, the part that we're really emphasising as a fresh uh, demand for, for government statistics, is this notion that they must be valuable, they must answer people's questions, they must provide insight, they must meet users' needs, uh, they must be accessible. This notion of value is really essential and I think that just with trustworthiness and quality you'd run the risk of having statistics as being a, a series of, sort of quite dry numbers existing in a rather abstract technical world, not very human, not very meaningful. Uh, the value pillar is the one which humanises the whole piece and fuses this notion of, of democratic debate into everything and we think it's very very important. Statistics aren't really dry, they are at their best when they have a humanity to them and we hope that's what's coming across from our work too so please do get in contact.